Greetings everyone, welcome to Future Press's boss strategy series. My name is Franz, and today we're going to be fighting the Throne Guardians. As demonstrated here, you can counter gank the Throne Guardians with Benhart and Vengarl, both of whom can be summoned outside the boss room. However, I cannot recommend summoning Vengarl as of patch 1.03, because Vengarl's AI is incredibly stupid, and he'll almost always just stand there and get killed without contributing anything to the fight. On the other hand, Ben Hart has been given a massive buff after patch 1.03, and his defense is now ridiculously high, so he is useful to summon for this fight. What you're up against here is basically a duo of enemies, one of whom is strong and sort of slow, the other of which is really not any less strong, but much more agile. The Watcher is the agile one, the Defender is the slightly slower one. And... Really, there's no reason to take out one over the other, you just want to end this fight as soon as you possibly can. This is one of those boss battles that tends to turn into a DPS race, and keeping these two bosses at range can prove difficult if you're alone. So, if you're finding you have a tremendous amount of trouble fighting these guys solo, it might help to summon somebody, whether it's the NPCs or not. As for their attacks, the Defender can block with a shield, as can the Watcher, and both of them will use a basic variety of sweeping and thrusting and overhead sword swings. It's better just to watch this video to get a sense for how they attack, rather than try and have me explain each swing in detail. When you damage each boss past a certain point, they will buff their weapons, which you're about to see here presently. You can use their buffing animation as an opportunity to sneak in some extra damage on them. The Watcher will buff his sword with magic, and the Defender will buff his sword with lightning. Also bear in mind that the Defender has a grab attack, which he telegraphs fairly far in advance. He has a sort of long wind-up for it. Now here's a really important thing about this fight, guys. When you knock out either the Watcher or the Defender, they won't despawn. They'll stay in the battlefield, and if you wait long enough, the one that's still standing will revive the one you knocked out with full health. So once one is down, you want to eliminate the other one as fast as you possibly can. And you're about to see here that the Defender will begin trying to revive the Watcher very shortly. There he goes. So at this point, you want to end him before he can bring back his buddy. And there you go. This fight was completed in New Game Plus, which is why we've received the Ring of the Evil Eye Plus 2. Also, it bears mentioning that this fight was not recorded by me. This was done by a colleague of mine at Future Press, who can't be credited by name. So here's a quick look at this character's stats. As always, if you'd like to take a closer look, please feel free to pause the video at any time. We hope this has been helpful to all of you. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.